Hello Aquarius, how are you all doing? Welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Um, this will be your love messages for the month of February. Happy birthday to you all Aquariuses. Um, happy Valentine's Day. May this month be filled with a lot of love, joy, and compassion and peace here. Uh, these messages will not resonate with every Aquarius and in regards to your love situation here, okay? Um, if they do not resonate, if you find that the messages do not resonate, be you can check your sun, moon, or rising here, all right? I mean, moon, rising, or Venus, okay? All right. Um, is that all? Thank you all for joining me again. Thank you all for your likes, subscribes, and your shares and your comments. I greatly appreciate it. All right. All right. Um, you all's prayer for the month of Febu February, Aquarius. Today I am praying that you are comforted by the knowledge of your eternal home. Don't be weary or fear the brokenness around you. We are all just passing through, but our hearts are seated in heavenly realms. JJ. Oh, hold on, y'all. Okay. I have held many things in my hands and have lost them all. But whatever I have placed in God's hands, that I still possess. Martin Luther King. We know that if the tent that is our earthly home is destroyed, we have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 1. Right, that is you all's prayer. Let's see what's going on here uh, with you all, Aquarius, for the month of February. In love, Aquarius, for the month of February. In love, what's going on with you and your person here? You want to get an overall energy for you, Aquarius, and one for your person, and get some additional messages here. Okay, Aquarius. Give me Aquarius overall energy here. Change. So, um, overall energy in regards to this connection here. I'm going through some changes here. You could be thinking of some changes here. Um, wanting changes within this connection. Okay. Give me Aquarius person's overall energy when it comes to this connection in the month of February. Please breaking down here all right so um upheaval is shaking the foundation of your security you need to question your thoughts beliefs and actions are they naive or blinding you necessary imminent changes here so aquarius your person could be going through some type of changes um maybe their find the foundation here is breaking down and they could be um, in this energy of questioning their thoughts their beliefs and their actions all right um got knowledge is power here so make sure you know all the facts before signing a contract or making a commitment it's a good time to learn a new skill or or upgrade an existing one here so aquarius you or your person could be um studying something new um doing something new here you got solid, solid foundation. So trying to figure out or trying to get more knowledgeable in regards to building a more solid foundation here. Uh, you're needing to dig deep and acknowledge your fears. Get beyond, get beyond them before starting to build dreams. Create the solid foundation needed to support your success here. All right. You got decisions here. So you or your person um, is going through some it's trying to make some type of decisions. It's needing to make some type of decisions. It's time to get off the fence and make a decision. Choose an option or solution that you know you can stick, that you can live with and stick to it. It's time for you all to make a commitment. All right. Now you have balance here. So uh, you could be trying to make some decisions on how to balance some things out here. All right. Or there's. Um, a need for balance within this connection 
um, that was it. This was next. You have finances here, so you all could be uh, working towards increasing your finances. All right. Um, you have this young woman here. This could be you or your person, Aquarius. This is somebody who's possibly fair-haired with a compassionate, light-hearted nature. She is a social butterfly, loves to travel and learn new things. This uh, young woman has natural talents here. All right. And keep going, Aquarius. So don't stop now for success is just around the corner. You will soon start to see the results of your commitment and consistent hard work. All right. So keep pushing forward here. All right. Um, hold on, y'all. Y'all, I don't think y'all heard me, okay? My bad, y'all. I uh, forgot to turn the mic back on. <laughs> so, this is, uh, yeah, Aquarius. You and your person for the month of February. Uh, situation, action, outcome, okay? Um, you got the Queen of Air. So, uh, situation here. The Queen of Air is someone who's independent, experienced here. This is someone who's realistic, um, witty. This is the air sign, the queen of air, I believe Aquarius, that is, that is us, that is an Aquarius. If I'm not mistaken, I'm giving notes out, so I can be for sure. Yeah, okay. Alright, so uh, situation here could have been some objective decision making that needed to take place here. Um, yes, the Queen of Air, the Queen of Swords is an Aquarius card, okay? So, um, you or your person or within a connection, you all could have been clearing, out, clearing away things that no longer serve you or the connection or the person here or your person, okay? Um... Seeing the humor in the situation, I know uh, Aquarius have good sense of humor here, so uh, this is still trying to keep, you know, your sense of humor through what's been going on or what was going on here situation. The action here, you got the six of water, so someone is romanticizing about the past here. This is memories from um, your history or your childhood here. Uh, for some, you could, you or your person could have some issues regarding children here, all right? Um, but this could be someone from your past that you're dealing with, and um, when you think about this person, or when a person is thinking about you, they're thinking about, they're romanticizing about the past, okay? Potential outcome... All right, you got the seven of water, a complex decision. So someone in this connection is still trying to make um, a decision here of some sort. Um, with the seven of water, this is someone who is confused here. Could be procrastinating as well. This seven of water, um, that is a Scorpio, I believe. Scorpio energy. Yes, the seven of cups is ruled by Venus here. So not quite sure what do you want to do okay i uh, got the six of water six of water two is scorpio energy as well all right got this king of waters king of water is a cancer energy but um this king of water could be 
uh, the person who is trying to decide which way they're wanting to go here. You need to open up your heart and mind to those around you. Uh, maybe try to receive some trustworthy and heartfelt advice. Some advice that will help you to help you and your person to push forward here if that's what you're wanting here. Okay. This king of water could be doing some type of charity work or it could be very um, giving or very helpful you know when it comes to others okay let's get some clarification for this Aquarius and their person oh. Oh. <laughs> Aquarius and their person here clarification on the situation action outcome here, please. Alright. Oh, hold on, y'all. Alright, y'all. So we're clarifying um, the situation here between Aquarius and their customer. I mean, Aquarius and their person. <laughs> Clarifying the situation here for Aquarius in their first in the month of February. Got the Queen of Wands here. So, um, someone in this connection is um, having a powerful uh, take charge attitude towards what is no longer serving them here. All right. You got the Queen of Wands, which will be the Leo here. That's Leo energy. And this Devil, which is Capricorn energy here. So, um, clearing out all the addictions here, the temptations here. Taking charge of, of what needs to be and um, getting rid of what does not serve. Okay? All right, uh, we got the two of swords here. So there's some painful decisions, some blocked emotions here within this connection here. Okay, uh, it could be there's still mate type of energy here. All right, maybe because um, with this two of swords, two of swords is Libra energy. This is thinking with the head, not with the, not using the heart or the emotions at all. Okay. Um, let's clarify the six of water, please. All right, so action that we'll be taking. You got the temperance here, which is a Sagittarius with the four of wands. Okay, the four of wands would be an Aries card, okay? So this is patience. Being patient, um, healing is coming towards this connection here with you and your person with this four of wands and the temperance, okay? Um... Someone could be returning, whether if you or your person has separated or there's some type of distance of some sort. Someone uh, could be wanting to reunite here. Um, but there's patience needed in healing within this connection. All right. Potential outcome, clarifying the seven of water and the king of water, please. Got the moon here, so this is a Pisces uh, card, but this is about the um, illusions being confusions here. Okay, potential outcome you are you or your person is still confused here. Um, there still could be some secrets being held here. All right, got the three of swords energy, so that is heartbreak, maybe confused about some type of heartbreak here. All right, you or your person could uh, be feeling uh, loss or regret, feeling disappointed by the way that they have treated you or vice versa, okay? All right, let's get some messages here. More messages, Aquarius, for the month of February in love.
All right, let's get some messages for Aquarius and their person. All right, you have that project, that person, that idea is waiting. So, um, someone in this connection could be scared to step out on their dreams here, step out on faith, but whatever you're working on, that project, or if it's this connection, um, or idea, something is waiting for you to get to it, get after it, and um, know that the world has your back here, all right? You have you are going through some tough stuff right now, so everyone has their turn. Has their turn. Um, you need to put your boots on, strap them up, and be ready to tackle whatever you're going through, so you can push forward. All right. Um, you are giving away your power. You are a badass. Act like it. So uh, don't give away your power if whichever one or if that's the both of you all, um, Aquarius, or your person, or we have cross watchers here all right it's not everyone else's fault it's yours so um, this is about taking responsibilities for actions here taking responsibility for what you have done stop blaming others for the stuff you are done here this is a message for you or your person or the both of you okay all right, let's get the sacred soulmate deck to see. Let's get you all some messages from here. Aquarius and their person for the month of February. You have past life soulmates, so you have many past lives together. You're in this person here. All right. Um, lessons of Jupiter. You need to align, demonstrate, and express the values and beliefs you have learned about love. Be open to new ways. The results are healing and expansion here. All right. So have completion here. So um, a cycle is ending. New cycles are beginning here within the connection or uh, just you period outside of connection here all right got heart chakra awaken your heart center and let love in here okay we got unexpected so some unexpected people events messages travel or situations will be happening in the month of february all right apart so some distance will help bring clarity uh, maybe maybe you and your person is not uh, speaking now uh, but the time apart will help bring you or your person some clarity here the both of you here all right you have trust it is safe to trust in this situation marriage here this relationship is moving toward a sacred union Mm, you have retreat so time alone or in nature will help you to recharge all right an apology somebody is going to want to come in with an apology of some sort um whether it's you or your person in the month of february towards the end of the month of february okay all right let's get some let's get the advice for you all let's get your spiritual guidance Spiritual advice for Aquarius for the month of February. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, Aquarius for the month of February. <coughs> Have see the light here. Let me get my little booklet. So your spiritual advice, your guidance is for you to see the light number thirty-three. 
All right, let's see what this says. Aquarius. Uh, uh, Aquarius. Okay. So, see the light. The great illusion of the ego is that it sees itself as less than or better than others. This creates a false sense of separation and isolation, cutting you off from the divine flow of life. The spirit within knows we're all of the same source and honors self and others equally. The ancients called this false sense of ego separation, which they called stink eye. The sad affliction of not seeing the shared beauty of spirit in all. Um, all right. So, where in your life are you suffering from stink eye? Where do you feel less than or better than those around you? Where are you feeling inadequate or superior? Where do you feel jealous or indifference? Where are you feeling angry or insecure? This false perception is robbing you of your right to inner peace. And it cuts you off from source. Everyone in your life reflects an aspect of you. If you're feeling inferior, you're not accepting your own strengths and gifts properly. If you're feeling superior, you're dishonoring the divinity in another. In either case, you suffer. Each person in your life mirrors you back to yourself. If you feel less than another, you aren't properly valuing your endowments and beauty. If you're feeling superior, you, you're you depriving yourself of the gifts of another. To clear stink eye, look for the common elements you share with those from whom you feel separate. See both the human and divine in yourself as well as others. We all have challenges and weaknesses as well as divine light. Free yourself from stink eye by looking with the eye of spirit instead of the filters of the ego. Okay, so see the light Aquarius. Um, that's your spiritual advice for the month of February. Thank you all for joining me. I salute the divinity and you all. I am sending you all love, light, and positivity. Um, I hope that these messages were helpful. Thank you all for your likes, subscribes, your shares, and your comments. I greatly appreciate it. Um, I love you all. Happy birthday again, and I'll see y'all next time. Okay, bye.